Welcome to Starting Scripture, a reading of the Bible with Keturah. Today is day 134, and it also happens to be, for me, uh, the day that my youngest two are starting back to school. So Kai and Thea are back in school today. And so at the end, I will um, be saying the Lord's Prayer the way that we say it on the way to school. So today we're reading on the first book of Chronicles, uh, chapters 14 and 15. And again, with the psalmist, and we're reading Psalm 15. So 1 Chronicles chapter 14, David's palace and family. Then King Haram of Tyre sent messengers to David, along with cedar timber and stonemasons and carpenters to build him a palace. And David realized that the Lord had confirmed him as king over Israel and had greatly blessed his kingdom for the sake of his people Israel. Then David married more wives in Jerusalem, and they had more sons and daughters. These are the names of David's sons who were born in Jerusalem, Shamamua, Shobab, Nathan, Solomon, Ibahar, Elishua, Alphalet, Noga, Nepheg, Japhia, Alshama, Eliada, and Eliphalet. David conquers the Philistines. When the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over all Israel, they mobilized all their forces to capture him. But David was told they were coming, so he marched out to meet them. The Philistines arrived and made a raid in the valley of Rephaim. So David asked God, Should I go out to fight the Philistines? Will you hand them over to me? The Lord replied, Yes, go ahead. I will hand them over to you. So David and his troops went out up to Baal Perazim and defeated the Philistines there. God did it, David exclaimed. He used me to burst through my enemies like a raging flood. So they named that place Baal Perazim, which means the Lord who burst through. The Philistines had abandoned their gods there, so David gave orders to burn them. But after a while, the Philistines returned and raided the valley again. And once again, David asked God what to do. Do not attack them straight on, God replied. Instead, circle around behind and attack them near the poplar trees. When you hear a sound like marching feet in the tops of the poplar trees, go out and attack. That will be the signal that God is moving ahead of you to strike down the Philistine army. So David did what God commanded, and they struck down the Philistine army all the way from Gibeon to Gezer. So David's fame spread everywhere, and the Lord caused all the nations to fear David. First Chronicles chapter 15, Preparing to Move the Ark David now built several buildings for himself in the city of David. He also prepared a place for the Ark of God and set up a special tent for it. Then he commanded, No one except the Levites may carry the Ark of God. The Lord has chosen them to carry the Ark of the Lord and to serve him forever. Then David summoned all Israel to Jerusalem to bring the Ark of the Lord to the place he had prepared for it. This is the number of the descendants of Aaron, the priests, and the Levites who were called together. From the clan of Kohath, 120, with Uriel as their leader. From the clan of Merari, 220, with Asaiah as their leader. From the clan of Gershon, 130, with Joel as their leader. From the descendants of Elsaphan, 200, with Shemaiah as their leader. From the descendants of Hebron, 80, with Eliel as their leader. From the descendants of Uziel, 112, with Abin Abinad Abinadab as their leader. Then David summoned the priests, Zadok and Abiathar, and these Levite leaders, Ariel, Asaiah, Joel, Shemaiah, Eliel, and Abinadab. He said to them, You are the leaders of the Levite families. You must purify yourselves and all your fellow Levites, so you can bring the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel, to the place I have prepared for it. Because you Levites did not carry the ark the first time, the anger of the Lord our God burst out against us. We failed to ask God how to move it properly. So the priests and the Levites purified themselves in order to bring the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel, to Jerusalem. Then the Levites carried the ark of God on their shoulders with its carrying poles, just as the Lord had instructed Moses. David also ordered the Levite leaders to appoint a choir of Levites who were the singers who were singers and musicians, to sing joyful songs to the accompaniment of harps, lyres, and cymbals. So the Levites appointed Haman, son of Joel, along with his fellow Levites, 
Asaph, son of Berechiah, and Ethan, son of Cushaiah, from the clan of Merari. The following men were chosen as their assistants, Zechariah, Jaaziel, Shemiroth, Jehiel, Uni, Eliab, Benaiah, Masaiah, Metithiah, Eliphalu, Mechaniah, and the gatekeepers, Obed-Edom and Jael. The musicians, Haman, Asaph, and Ethan, were chosen to sound the bronze cymbals. Zechariah, Uziel, Shemiramamoth, Jehiel, Uni, Eliab, Masaiah, and Benaiah were chosen to play the harps. Metathiah, Eliphalu, Mechaniah, Obed-Edom, Jael, and Azaziah were chosen to play the lyres. Kenaniah, the head Levite, was chosen as the choir leader because of his skill. Berechiah and Elkanah were chosen to guard the ark. Shebaniah, Josephat, Nathaniel, Amasai, Zechariah, Benaiah, and Eleazar, all of whom were priests, were chosen to blow the trumpets as they marched in front of the ark of God. Obed-Edom and Jehiah were chosen to guard the ark. Moving the ark to Jerusalem. Then David and the elders of Israel and the generals of the army went to the house of Obed-Edom to bring the ark of the Lord's covenant up to Jerusalem with a great celebration. And because God was clearly helping the Levites as they carried the ark of the Lord's covenant, they sacrificed seven bulls and seven rams. David was dressed in a robe of fine linen, as were all the Levites who carried the ark, and also the singers, and Kenaniah, the choir leader. David was also wearing a priestly garment. So all Israel brought up the ark of the Lord's covenant with shouts of joy, the blowing of ram's horns and trumpets, the crashing of cymbals, and loud playing on harps and lyres. But as the ark of the Lord's covenant, the city of David, entered the city of David, Michael, the daughter of Saul, looked down from her window. When she saw King David skipping about and laughing with joy, she was filled with contempt for him. And now, Psalm 15. A Psalm of David. Who may worship in your sanctuary, Lord? Who may enter your presence on your holy hill? Those who lead blameless lives and do what is right, speaking the truth from sincere hearts. Those who refuse to gossip or harm their neighbors or speak evil of their friends. Those who despise flagrant sinners and honor the faithful followers of the Lord and keep their promises even when it hurts. Those who lend money without charging interest, and though, and who cannot be bribed to lie about the innocent. Such people will stand firm forever. Now, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Dear Lord, direct our paths this day through your Holy Spirit. Your daughter, your servant, is listening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>